Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing on how to construct uh, an IS curve using uh, the simple Keynesian uh, model. So let me just uh, brief you the uh, background. So now um, we need to uh, use the IS uh, curve uh, in order to analyze the equilibrium condition in the product market. So now as you can see on the screen, Basically, uh, this will be the equilibrium condition which we have discussed previously where aggregate supply or output must equal to aggregate demand. So at the moment, in equation one, we are uh, considering a closed uh, economy where there is no net export. So this equilibrium condition in the product market would also mean that um, uh, the total amount of injections uh, should equal to the total amount of leakages uh, as uh, shown by equation 2 where investment plus uh, government expenditure must equal to the amount of saving plus uh, tax revenue. Now um, we're going to use the second equilibrium condition, uh, the second equation to basically construct the product market equilibrium schedule which is represented by the IS schedule. So in short, IS schedule basically going to give us the combinations of income, Y, and interest rate, R, that equilibrate the product market. So to make the analysis more simple, we're going to assume a private closed economy. So there is no government and no international trade. So our equation 2, okay, which was I plus G, now on the left-hand side becomes only investment, while on the right-hand side, we only have savings uh, where there is no taxes. And from our previous discussion, we already know that investment depends on interest rate while saving is a stable function of income. Now, our task is basically to find combinations of interest rate R and income Y that make this equation, equation 3, which is the equilibrium condition to hold, where investment basically going to equal to saving. So we're going to first of all uh, look at the investment schedule and the saving schedule. Okay. So our investment schedule, okay, where investment is a function of uh, interest rate, okay. So, so this is how, uh, and uh, from our uh, what we have discussed, discussed previously, we know that uh, investment and interest rate, okay, okay. So it has a negative relationship. So basically, uh, our investment schedule would be downward sloping, right? Downward sloping. Where when interest rate is high, okay, when interest rate is high, we're going to have a lower amount of investment, okay, like what I have, uh, we have uh, discussed uh, previously. Uh, so firm going to basically regard uh, uh, interest rate as the cost for them to conduct investment. So you can simply assume that firms now they need to borrow money to conduct the investment. So when the interest rate is high, the cost to do the investment is very high. So that's why a lower amount of investment will be performed. And when interest rate is low, that means the cost to perform the investment is relatively cheaper now. And that's why larger amount of investment will be demanded by the firm. Or you can also look at this from the point of view in terms of the quantity of investment that will give profit. When interest rate is high, there will only be a smaller amount of uh, projects that would be able to give profit. When interest rate is low, there will be many investment projects that would be able to deliver profit. Okay, so let me just put here. So let's just assume this is um, R0, the initial condition. This is our original interest rate. And this will be uh, the total quantity of investment okay, in, the, uh, in the economy. So when interest rate is R0, okay, when interest rate is R0, so now what's going to happen to our saving? Okay, so we have already mentioned that uh, using the simple Keynesian um, model, we're going to use the linear uh, function uh, to specify our saving, where S, okay, saving, okay, saving is basically a function of, we have the intercept negative A because um, even when, when, when income is zero, we are doing this saving or we are borrowing because to sustain our consumption. And then uh, we have uh, this uh, coefficient okay, of um, uh, saving, 
which is represented by 1 minus b multiplied by y. Okay, um, so take note 1 minus b would be the marginal propensity to save, while b would be the marginal propensity to consume. Okay. So our saving schedule, okay, oops, sorry about that. Okay, would basically start from negative A, the intercept, okay, which is somewhere here. So let's just going to assume it's somewhere just below the origin. Okay, and it will be upward sloping. Okay, and this is our saving shadow. Okay, so this is basically according to uh, what Keynesian uh, view where saving, okay, is a stable function of income. As our income goes up, we tend to save more, but not all of it because a certain portion of it will be used as consumption expenditure. Okay, so when interest rate is R0, correspondingly, okay, in the, um, in the saving schedule, okay, this amount of I0, okay, must be matched, okay, must be matched by uh, saving. Uh, there should be equivalent amount of saving, which is enough, okay, to basically uh, pump in the quantity of investment required by the firms. So this is I0, which is relatively very high. So let's say this is the corresponding saving amount. Okay, the corresponding saving amount, which is very high over here. Okay, and this would basically then... Okay, uh, be represented by Y0 over here. Okay. So now what we, we want to do next is to find the next point, okay? So let's find another combination, okay? Where let's say when we have a higher interest rate over here. So let's say this is R1. So when interest rate is high, investment become more costly. So there is a drop, okay, in the demand for investment at I1. So as investment drop, it need to be matched by lower amount of savings, okay? Lower amount of savings. So let's say it is somewhere over here. Okay, so the corresponding income level would be Y1, which is now lower. So now, as you can see, we already have two combinations of interest rate and income. So let's just do the first one for R0 and Y0. So when interest rate is R0, which is very low, okay, very low, we should see, we could, we could see that uh, income level is very high. Okay, income level is is very high so let's say i'm going to put it here however when interest rate is high okay so let's say at r2 over here okay which is higher now the invest the the income level will be much lower so let's say somewhere here okay so we already have um, two points and now we can simply connect okay these two points and this is our uh, is uh, shadow Okay, so again, uh, just to recap, uh, our IS uh, schedule, okay, would be able to show the different combinations of interest rate and income level, okay, on the income and interest rate plan. So that would be the IS schedule. So uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the other video, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.